Is there something in your training gym right now that you know needs to change, but you've been delaying making the change, you've been procrastinating, and you're nervous about the impact it's gonna have, so you keep not doing the thing you know you need to do? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you an awesome framework that's gonna help you make the hard changes you know you need to make to create the training gym and the fitness business that you actually wanna be running. I'm Mark Fisher. I'm a co-founder of Business for Unicorns. You can check us out at businessforunicorns.com if you're interested in hearing more about how we help training gym owners create more income, more impact, and more personal freedom through their training gym. All right, so this is a real talk kind of day. Let me run down this list and see if any of these things resonate with you. You have a membership model that is not priced appropriately to allow for sufficient profitability. You have a long-term employee who ultimately is not performing at the level they were, and you know it's probably time for them to move on. You've recently hired a trainer that you thought was gonna be great, but after a month or two, it's clear that they're just not really the right fit for your business. You have a new service offering that it's just not that profitable, it's not that great. Some people really, really love it, but overall, it's a distraction and it's taking away from the core service offerings that are really driving the business and really helping the most people. You have a scheduling or billing software that is painfully clunky and horrible to use. You have a vendor of some kind, perhaps an ad agency, a bookkeeper, and you're paying them the money that you committed to, but you're not getting the outcome that you had hoped and that was you were told you were gonna get, or maybe, you have a lease, you're spending too much money on your rent, and it means that in your market, based on the prices you can charge, you're not really able to run a profitable fitness business because too much cash is going out the door. This happens to all of us. We all have, over time, because of a bad decision up front or because situations change, we find ourselves sometimes in what feel, they feel emotionally like an intractable situation. It's preventing the fitness business from being in fun and as profitable as you know it can be and yet you're still feeling resistant. And in my mind, there are two barriers, there's two reasons that we are not ripping off this Band-Aid. So the first barrier, and that might be that on some level, it's not precisely clear to you that your other option is better than this. You're not actually sure that changing your billing and, and scheduling software is actually gonna make things better. So you're resisting the, ch the change because even though what you're doing is not working, it's not obvious you have another option that's gonna be a lot better. And that is certainly one issue, but I, ideally we saw that one through critical thinking and analyzing and coming to a conclusion that we are, at least in theory, we should be making the change if we wanna create the business we want. Our focus today really is on the second barrier. The second barrier is when you are clear what to do, but you have resistance, you have emotional discomfort, you do not want to pay the price of ripping off that Band-Aid because it's not gonna be fun for you, and frankly, people are gonna be upset. Now, sometimes this is just because people don't like change, right? Sometimes it's gonna be a little bit more work up front, so you know maybe your team is frustrated by changing a vendor. It's not necessarily going to be worse for all people. It might actually ultimately be better for everybody on the other end, but a lot of people don't like change, and to create change of any kind is likely going to require work for a lot of people. And sometimes it actually is objectively worse for the person. You're making a decision that is best for the organism, that is best for the community as a whole, but when you are, for instance, firing a long-term employee that just isn't performing at a high level anymore, that individual will likely be very upset with you. Admittedly, I wanna emphasize again, if you're doing a good job managing, when you fire people, ideally it's not a surprise, but it's usually not news that people welcome. And for you as the owner-operator, it can also feel very bad. It's 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 not fun to have to make that kind of change. So if any of these things resonate with you, I want to offer a frame that I think is valuable. And it comes from the entrepreneurial operating system community. And that is 36 hours of pain. This is something that is mentioned in the book Traction by Gina Wickman. Essentially what it means is that when you make these difficult changes, when you rip off these band-aids, when there's something that you know you need to do and you've been resistant to do it, once you finally get up the nerve to do it, it's 36 hours of pain, that's it. When you make a change that is truly going to be positive for the business, in the long run, everybody's gonna get over the thing. This is not saying that you're making changes willy-nilly, right? I'm also assuming that you're appropriately communicating with the stakeholders. You are doing your very best to make change in a humane way, because understand, change is difficult for a lot of people. And particularly when you're in the driver's seat and you're in the front of the van, right, and your hands are on the steering wheel, change feels less jarring than the people in the back of the van, right? So to be clear, I'm not giving you permission to be willy nilly and thrash around your team, your clients, and your community while you just keep changing direction in a thoughtless way. However, 
My presumption is that there might be something going on in your training gym right now that you just know you need to do. And it might be a pricing change. It might be a service you've got to get rid of. It might be an employee who's not working out. It might be a client who's not working out and you need to have a difficult conversation with. If the resistance there is your discomfort, remember, it's 36 hours of pain. It's gonna be a brief period of time. All right, my friends, I hope this framing is helpful. In order to be the best steward, the best leader of the organism of your training community requires you at times to make difficult decisions that a lot of people are uncomfortable with at first, that some people are drastically against because it doesn't serve their immediate well-being. But ultimately, this is the price we pay and it is well worth it to create a training gym and a fitness business that you love getting the opportunity to run while you make powerful impact on the communities that you were called to serve. All right, friends, I am Mark Fisher. For more about Business for Unicorns, head to businessforunicorns.com. And in the meantime, if you liked this video, it would mean so much to me if you consider liking, subscribing, and sharing because then more people will find about this channel and more training gym owners and operators will be more successful and they will be more impactful at serving their communities and we'll have a fitness industry where we're all doing a better job serving these missions that we are all called to serve. Thank you so much, and I'll check you in a video soon for more actionable tips, psychological frameworks, and philosophy.